Magic Johnson, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen, and Allen Iverson are NBA Hall of Famers you probably didn't know played overseas. Allen Iverson was an 11-time All-Star and a former MVP. Towards the end of his career, he played on the teams like the Pistons and the Memphis Grizzlies. In his last season in the NBA, Allen Iverson would make his return to the Philadelphia 76ers. And that's where things got bad. On the court, you could tell Allen Iverson was starting to slow down a bit, but off the court, it was a completely different story. Allen Iverson was dealing with a divorce and he was also starting to develop a bad gambling and alcohol addiction. Once his final season was over, Allen Iverson still wanted to play in the NBA, but he was receiving no contract from any NBA team. Nobody wanted him. And then out of nowhere, he received an offer from a team in Turkey. Sadly, after only playing 7 games in the Turkish league, Iverson would suffer an injury to his calf. In those 7 games, he would have averages of 14.3 points and 4.7 assists, which is kinda good at his age. Once Iverson got healthy again, he didn't try to make his return to the team, but the team was just completely garbage and was not good at all. So Iverson decided enough was enough and he tried different ways to get back in the NBA. After several failed attempts to make it back into the NBA, Iverson was hit with the hard truth. It was time to hang it up and call it quits. Dennis Rodman definitely had the wildest overseas career, which is just super fitting because of course it would be Rodman. We are talking about the man who boxed Karl Malone and had some of the craziest hairstyles in the NBA. After he retired from the NBA, he would make several stops around the world. He played for several different teams. His first stop would be in 2005. He would sign a one-game contract to play for the Torpan Pojats in Finland. Then, one year later, he would play in England for only three games. In his first game in England, in true Dennis Rodman fashion, he would put up 5 points and 18 rebounds. Even when he wasn't in the NBA, he didn't give one care in the world about scoring the ball. He could have taken any shot he wanted, but he just said, nah, that ain't me, and that's why I respect Dennis Rodman so much. He knew what he was, and he was a rebounder and a hustler. Magic Johnson also had a very weird overseas career. Unlike the other guys on this list, he actually played for his own team. His first retiring from the NBA was in 1991 after testing positive for HIV. Then he did make his short return in the NBA during the 1995 through 1996 season. He would then officially retire from the NBA after that season. After he retired, he would buy a basketball team in Sweden. He would play one whole season for the team. After he left the team, that's where things got bad. The team stop making any money and just two seasons after Magic Johnson left, they would go bankrupt. And just like that, everyone had forgotten about Magic Johnson playing overseas, but Magic Johnson definitely didn't forget the bread that he lost buying that team. The human highlight film Dominic Wilkins was another star that chose to play overseas. Dominic Wilson played for the Boston Celtics in 1994 through 1995. After that season was over, Dominic decided to go over to Europe and he signed a contract with the Greece team over there. In Greece, he averaged 20 points per game and 7 rebounds a game. He was a huge factor on the Greece team winning the Euro League title. This is where things get really confusing. After winning the title, he came back to the NBA and played for the Spurs. Then, he went back overseas after playing for the Spurs and played in the Italian League. Once he was done with the Italian League, he ended up coming back to the NBA once again to play with his brother on the Orlando Magic. Soon, Dominic would retire from basketball in 2006, and he would be remembered as one of the greatest highlight reels of all time. Artis Gilmore, if you're new to the NBA, you probably never heard of this man's name, and I don't blame you at all. This man hasn't played basketball in over 36 years. In his last two seasons in the NBA, he was a whopping 38 years old. He was only averaging 3.8 points per game. Once his contract was over for the Boston Celtics, no other team in the NBA offered him a contract. Artis Gilmore then decided to take his talents to Miami, I mean Italy. His overseas stats were actually pretty good. He averaged 12.3 points per game and 11 rebounds a game, and even was named an European All-Star. This old man was still giving the league buckets and was blocking shots at will, even though he was 40 years old. Alex English was a great player for the Denver Nuggets in the 80s. He was a small forward that scored the ball at will. Over his entire NBA career, he averaged an insane 21.5 points per game. In his last season in the NBA, he was a backup small forward for the Dallas Mavericks. He saw a huge dip in production on the court and only averaged 10 points per game. And just like that, no NBA team was going to give Alex English one last chance to stay in the NBA. So when no team was giving him a contract, he decided to play overseas. 
He signed a one-year contract and saw his numbers go up a little bit. He would end up playing 18 games overseas before calling it quits. Bob McAdoo is an NBA legend. He made the NBA's top 75 list, but you probably didn't know Bob McAdoo was one of the greatest USA-born players to ever play overseas. At the age of 34, he played his last season in the NBA with the Philadelphia 76ers, and he only averaged 10 points per game on the Sixers. Just like so many other stars featured on this list, nobody in the NBA wanted him. Bob McAdoo would then say to himself, why not give this overseas things a chance? He would go overseas and average 26 points per game and 10 rebounds a game. He would also win the EuroLeague Championship twice. He would play overseas for 7 years, at the age of 35 to when he retired from basketball at the age of 42. He would become a legend, both in the NBA and overseas. Steph on Marbury's last season in the NBA was with the Boston Celtics. After he was done with the NBA, he decided to go overseas and play in China. His first season on the Dragons was a great one. He averaged 22 points per game and 9 assists, but sadly his team failed to make the playoffs. His next year in China, he would join a different team and it would be the same story. His team was just not good enough to make the playoffs and Stefan Marbury would miss the playoffs for the second year in a row. And again, once the season was over, Stefan Marbury would switch teams but this time, something changed. His team was super good and he was dominating overseas. In the playoffs, Stefan Marbury was going crazy. He had unleashed his inner Michael Jordan and dropped the 40 point game to send his team to the finals. They ended up winning the championship. In his three seasons overseas in China, he would make the All-Star team three times, and one of those seasons, he actually won MVP for the season. George Gervin, the Iceman, the man who had mastered the finger roll, which was his signature move. George Gervin was one of the best shooting guards in the NBA. After retiring from the NBA in 1985, George Gervin still wanted to play basketball, so he decided to go overseas and play a season in Italy for the Banco Romas. Even though he had definitely lost a step in the NBA, he was back in his prime overseas. He averaged an insane 25 points per game and 5 rebounds a game. In his last game overseas, he dropped a whopping 31 points a game and 5 rebounds a game, like it was nothing. He would be inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1996 and will go down as one of the most underrated shooting guards in NBA history. And finally for the last guy on this, one of the all-time greats, Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen is one of the greatest small forwards in NBA history. He made the All-Star team 7 times and was the second best player on a dynasty. At the age of 34, Scottie Pippen will retire from the NBA. For 8 years, Scottie Pippen had not touched a basketball at all, and then, out of nowhere, he would decide to play overseas in 2008 at the insane age of 42. He was basically an elderly man at that point in his life. He would play for the Torpan Pojats, and then after he was done with that team, he would go over to Sweden and play for the Swedish team over there. In his very last game, he would drop 21 points and 12 rebounds and 6 assists. The old man was still giving these kids buckets on their head like he was 25 again. Even though his overseas career was very, very short, it was still super fun to see Scottie Pippen suit up one last time and play his last game of basketball.